What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so... Here we are in the second to last episode of this whole walkthrough, and yes, we got a butt ton of Pokemon to actually capture. Now, before we continue, I just want to say this. It has been a very good walkthrough, guys. I am very proud of the way I'm doing this. Many of you guys already have already noticed that, like, you know, throughout this whole walkthrough, including the last few ones that I've redone, we've done it in a short amount of time. You know, speed through it and all that stuff. Now, in the last episode, yes, I get it. Yes, we're using we're using actual action replay codes in order to capture these legendary Pokemon, mainly because, well, you know, your homeboy's already uh, he's done. He's done with Pokemon Platinum, and well, what a better way to finish this off than to just easily capture these Pokemon. But, it comes with this, that I'm leading you to it. I'm leading you on how to capture these Pokemon. That way, when you guys play these games by yourself, I mean, you can try and, you can try the challenge and try and capture every single one of these guys. So, I do apologize if many of you guys uh, like see me as a cheater or anything like that, but what kind of walkthrough artist does not, you know, use the cheats in order to do this and all that stuff? Obviously, action replay codes are here because of the event Pokemon. The actual events of the Nintendo DS have been, have been long expired, so yeah, we, we're going to be doing this no matter what. And on top of it all, guys, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty much done playing this game. The best way to get out, like the best way to finish this out, is just to get these whole legendaries done, and then, you know, do like go up against the Pokemon League the way I, I intended, kicking, screaming, and trying to hit on Cynthia and all that stuff. So, in this episode, we're gonna be capturing Heatran, the Regis, and the three legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh, the three mystical Pokemon, which is the Palkia and Arceus. We already caught Giratina, so that would be four. So, what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be fast-forwarding back to Stark Mountain to try and get Heatran. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are, guys, back in Stark Mountain. Now, what you need to do before you do any of this stuff is you need to complete the whole Team Galactic event right here, which you guys can see in the first episode or Monday's episode of this week. The other part, too, which I completely forgot to do, was that once you once you see Buck over at the, the, gym, leader, the gym leader house, near the survival area you got to make sure to talk to him when he goes in and then you got to make sure to talk to him inside the the trainer house that way it can kick off this whole thing right here so now that everything's been completed all we need to go is inside and here it is guys heatran is waiting for us now again i don't know why heatran is considered a legendary pokemon it's just a uh, legendary mythical i don't know but i guess it's at the, like before this, like before generation five or six, I think it was the first of its kind as a steel and uh, fire type Pokemon. So here it is guys, Heatran at level 50. It is a female and uh, well, yeah, we, we're not really gonna battle this guys. It's like it's, it's, it's pointless at this point. So we're just gonna let it attack us just so you guys can see what kind of moves it actually has. As you guys can see, Heatran is gonna be using Crunch. It's very physical. And, well, you can play at that game, because we do have the rough skin, so let's go with a crunch attack right here. And it really isn't going to affect him, because it is a steel-type Pokemon. So here we go, Heatran with a scary move, or scary face right here. Yeah, not going to happen right there. So, what's going to happen is, yes, we're going to be throwing an Ultra Ball, and, uh, yeah, capturing this Pokemon easily as possible. That way we can get to the next few. And... Uh, there it is, guys. Bam. Heatran has been captured. And, well, since we already got its Poke Pokedex entry, because, well, we completely forgot about the, the, whole, uh, the whole thing at the beginning, we might as well go straight to the next few things. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in the section of capturing the Regis. Now, in Pokemon Platinum... Yeah, this is this is a bit of a you know a difficult way to explain it, and you guys already know that Draven's not really good at explaining a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm a, I'm going to attempt it and see if you guys get it. So the Reggie the Reggie's event is all triggered through an action replay code, 
and you need a special Reggie Gigas in order to activate the three Reggies right here in the in the whole game. That way you can try and capture them and then try and capture an in-game Reggie Gigas. So my first suggestion to many of you is make sure to have a Pokemon you don't want on the first like the first part of your team right here because once you put in the code and you push you press L and R it will turn into Regigigas, an event Regigigas. So I'm gonna press that right now, and as you guys can see, not right there, going straight to my Pokemon, it is a bad egg, holy crud. Let's try this again. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Regigigas at level 100. Now, take a look at this. It is in, it's only a normal type Pokemon. And, well, it is a Pokemon event back in 2009, so that's that's damn near 20 years ago. Its ability is a slow start, temporarily halves the attack and speed, and its attack is through the roof right here. Has Iron Head, Rock Slide, Icy Wind, and Crush Grip. So, once that's taken care of, the three Regis in-game will be activated. We've already visited all these locations before, it's just we need to get to those locations. Now, once we captured all three of the Regis, we have to go back to Snowpoint to go back to the temple in order to capture the in-game Regigigas. So, what's going to happen right now, guys, is we're going to be going on a bit of an adventure. We're going to be fast-forwarding here and there. Yes, I know. Lots of fast-forward, but we need to finish this whole game. We really do, guys. So, we're going to be moving forward. We're going to be capturing Reggie Ice first. I don't care what anybody says. It's Reggie Ice, not Reg Ice. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are going down south of the, what was it called? Snow Point. And just to make it easy for you guys, right here in Mount Coronet. And you're going to be able to go into this cave right here. And as you guys can see, what once was a an area where we just found a single item, it now becomes a sanctuary for Reggie Ice. So what we need to do now, as many of you guys already know, yeah, this thing is a puzzle and, uh, wow. I'm going to try, try and figure it out. So, let me see if I got this correct. So, you have to hit this. This. That. Go up and uh, right here. Go down right here. Here. And here. Once that is activated, look up top and uh, something changed in the air. An indescribable power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. And believe it or not, that statue now becomes a Reggie. And BAM! Yeah, you gotta love the theme song for the Reggies. So here it is, guys. We got ourselves a Reggie Ice, or Reg Ice, as many of you guys like to be calling it. And, uh, well, it's at level 30. Same level as in Pokemon, what was it called? Pokemon uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. So, as many of you guys already know, I'm really not going to be doing much on this. I'm just going to be screwing around just a little, just so you guys can see what kind of moves it has. And, well, let's go with the next attack, just in case. You know, whatever. Alright, Reggie Ice, what do you have? And, well, let's see. Reggie Ice has a stomp attack. And, uh, well, I, I, don't really, I really don't know why I'm, being, I'm doing this. So, let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon. I'm leading you guys towards the water. As many of you guys already know, you can only lead a, lead a horse to water right here. So, here it is, throwing an Ultra Ball at it. And bam, there you go. We got ourselves Reggie Ice. So the next Pokemon we're gonna be going after is Reggie Reggie Rock. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Route 228, right in front of the cave where we're gonna be finding Reggie Rock. Now, something that I forgot to mention. Make sure to always keep this event Reggie Gigas in your party at all times if you want to capture these uh these Reggies. So, what's going to happen now is we're going to be going in here into this cave, and what used to be plain is now different. And the layout is, uh, well, it's glowing and everything. So what you need to do right here is you need to go from the very top, and you're going to hear in the pings. And what needs to happen here is you need to do the same thing for this part. And then hit the center. And just like that, we get ourselves a little rumble and something changed in the air and an indescribable power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. Here we have Reggie Rock. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and see what we got. Reggie Rock. 
Alrighty. So, Regirock, level 30, rock type Pokemon, does have everything that, you know, the other Regis have, like Clear Body, has a, what was it called, Curse in order to lower its speed and up its uh, defenses, and it has a specialty attack, which we will be showing later, bit, uh, like after this whole captures right here. So, here it is, throwing the Ultra Ball, special, and bam, Regirock has been captured. So, we're going to be moving forward, going into Registeel. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So, here we are in Iron Island. And this is the location in which you will be finding Registeel. So, what needs to happen here now is that, well, everything's changed. Make sure to always keep that uh, that Regi, uh, Registeel with, or that Registeel with you at all times. And this puzzle is going to get a little interesting because, holy buckets. Let's see. So, we start right here. Start that here, and I believe you go here, there, and then you go up here, down here, and then you open it up. It's a weird combination, but it works, guys. And from there, you'll be able to find yourself a regular old Reggie Steel. So let's go right ahead and go straight to the stone, and just like that, you've activated the event. And trying to capture Reggie Steel. So as you guys can see, Reggie Steel, level 30 Pokemon, same old, same old, clear body, every single move is the same. So let's go right ahead and capture this guy with a regular old Ultra Ball and uh, be on our way to go actually capture the rate the, the the real Reggie the real Reggie Gigas, I should say. So there it is, and there you go, guys. We captured ourselves a Reggie Steel. Yes, so I'll be right back with you. We're gonna be at Snowpoint. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Snowpoint City, and well, here's what you need to do for Regigigas. I don't know if you necessarily need it, but you probably do need a Pokemon with uh, Rock Smash. But you gotta make sure to have all three Regis in your party in order for this whole thing to work. Now, Reggie, the event Regigigas that you have, it, yeah, you can put it back into the PC and all that stuff, but you need the three Regigigas, okay? So, or the three Regis in this whole thing. So, what needs to happen next is you need to go north of Snowpoint, and there will be somebody right there in front of the temple, and she's gonna be like, only chosen, or only the chosen may enter the Snowpoint temple. I'm sorry, but you'll have to leave. And, uh, well, something happens right here. Candace is like, it's okay. You can let the person in. I heard from Cynthia. You're working on a Pokedance, aren't you? There should be many rare Pokemon in the temple. Enjoy your exploring. Okay. So, here it is, guys. We are in the Snowpoint Temple. And, uh, well... There really isn't a lot to do right here, except for, you know, these these little, uh... Our good old buddy... Our good old buddy, the... the, the whatchamacallit, the... What was it called again? Um... <laughs> The, the ice path right here, or the ice sliding areas, little friends right there, and uh, it's going to get tougher going down the stairs right here. As you guys can see, you do need somebody with Rock Smash in order to pass by this whole area, and, uh, well, just to prevent yourself from going into any kind of, like, uh, well, these parts right here. So, what's going to happen is right here, and we're going to go down here. And I believe we're at the last area right here where you can actually find Regigigas, right? No, this actually gives you another puzzle, which I guess uh, it gets annoying after a while. So, let's go right ahead and go right here. See if I'm doing this correctly down here. I'm always getting these things wrong, so do excuse the whole... Uh, the whole confusion right here guys and there it is okay so that's one now we got the other one and well how many floors does this place have quite a few do need a pokemon in that that has strength because well i guess let's see yeah we we, we do need a pokemon with strength right here so let's go right push that right there and huh Never mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip on that because, yeah, it is what it is, guys. If it's a regular, it's a re if it's a rare item, then I'm sorry. I'll get it later. But as you guys can see, there is the in-game Regigigas waiting for us. And the messed up part about this whole Regigigas thing, in-game, I should say, is that you know you get an event Pokemon, 
the event Regigigas. It's at level 100. But right here, you're going to be getting yourself a level 1, I believe. So let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to figure this one out. I hate this puzzle, especially the polished area right here. So let's go. Hmm. Down here? No. And let's go right over here. And look at that. Okay, so right here. And nope, it's leading me straight towards the area. So I think I know where to go. I always seem to get this wrong. So we go right here. And hmm. Okay, I see. I see where I'm going wrong right here. So let's go right here, up here. And yes, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon. Luckily, we do have Big Booty Buckus helping us out right here. So if we go towards this section right here, we're going back. Holy buckets! Okay, so yeah, we kind of messed this thing up right here. So we got to do this all over again. Holy crud! The price to finish this whole thing, this whole game up, it's pretty big. Hmm. As many of you guys already know, I, you know, I'm at that point. Like I've been doing, I've been doing such a good job with um, coming out with these walkthroughs that, you know, I don't mind doing what I'm doing right now just so we can get to the next walkthrough. And I get it, I get it. It's kind of like counterintuitive, but yeah. You know, this is the end game right here, so why not do exactly what I'm doing right here? So, anywho, here we are, and Regigigas is asleep. You click on this guy, and it's a, it's a statue of a Pokemon. It ex it seems to exude some power. And Draven read the engraved writing, a body of rock, a body of ice, a body of steel. When gathers the three Pokemon, the, the king shall appear. And just like that, Regigigas wakes up. So, here it is, guys. We got Regigigas at level one. How unfair is it? Okay? So, this guy doesn't have clear body. It is a normal type Pokemon, and it does have slow start, but once it's getting, once it gets going, it, it, it's one of the most powerful Pokemon out there. One of the most physically powerful Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at this Pokemon right here. And one, here's two, and there is three. We have caught ourselves the regular Regigigas of the Pokemon Platinum game. So this guy's gonna be going straight into the PC. I'm gonna go back into the Pokemon Center so we can take a look at these three Regis and then move on to the next one. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the PC and we're gonna be looking at the Regis right here. So here we have Regirock, pure rock type Pokemon. This guy, pure defense, pure defense. Does have the ability to clear body. And, well, as I said before, it does have Stomp, Rock Throw, Curse, and Super Power. The next Pokemon on the list is Registeel, the pure steel type Pokemon. And as you guys can see, pure defense, clear body. Look at that Metal Claw, Stomp, Curse, and Super Power. Now, if we go straight to Reggie Ice, don't care how I say it. It is pure, especially defensive Pokemon right here. It does have the clear body, stomp, icy wind, curse, and superpower is its uh, you know its game right there. And here we have the regular Regigigas. Doesn't have any experience points to its name. It is a normal type Pokemon. Has slow start to you know its ability, which is kind of yeah, it's kind of lame and all that stuff. And it does have some pretty good moves at the beginning, like Dizzy Punch, Knock Off, Confuse Ray, and Foresight. Now, we didn't take a look at the Heatran, so let's go right ahead and take a look at this guy right here. And as you guys can see, Heatran is both a fire and steel type Pokemon. Its speed, it sucks. But, it is a very, very good special attacker. It does have the ability Flash Fire, which powers up its fire type moves if it's getting hit by any kind of fire type moves. Now, it does have steel, uh, steel uh, moves like uh, Metal Sound, Crunch, Scary Face, and Lava Plume. That's how it does it. So, in the next section of this episode, we're going to be going back to Mount Coronet because there are going to be two to three Pokemon waiting for us up there. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are in Mount Coronet, and here is the location to what is needed in order to get yourself both Dialga and Palkia. Now, remember, 
you can't just complete the game and just grab them. You actually need two specific items in order to get these Pokemon. So what needs to happen is make sure to bring a Pokemon with Waterfall and it will get you to this specific location right here. Now, you'll have two items plus a stone in the middle. Might as well grab this while we're at it. And here we have the stone plate. And there is an engraved in the plate behind it. The rightful bearer of a plate draws from the plate it holds. Okay. And these two items are very specific to these two particular Pokemon. Here we are going to be getting the Adamant Orb. This right here is, I believe, the item, specific item for Dialga. And you're going to get yourself the Lustrous Orb, which I believe it's for Palkia. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now... I'm gonna move, I'm gonna fast forward to the entrance area to where we need to get to. Okay, so a particular step that we forgot was that you need to go back to Celestic Town right here, guys, and you need to go into the main house and find Cynthia's mother or grandmother right here. And well, she's gonna be telling you about something. She's like, "Well, hello, you look good. I did some research of my own since that spot uh, of trouble last time. Mount Cornet, Mount Cornet's acting up had me very concerned too. Well." This is what I found in the shrine. It's a book, and it's quite old. Let me read a bit for you. The bearer of the the bearer of the shining adamant orb summons Dialga of Spear Pillar. The guardian of the time will will answer the call. The bearer of the shining lustrous orb summons Palkia the Spear uh, uh, to the Spear Pillar. The Pokemon that binds the spear the spatial dimensions will all answer the call. It seems the people of long ago met both Dialga and Palkia, the Pokemon of the time and space. So, I think that's pretty much what we need to do right here. Now that we got the Illustrious Orb and the and the Gracie or whatever the, the other orb is, we're going to go back and uh, we're going to see if we can actually find these two Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back at Spear Pillar and please let them be here. Okay, so after uncovering all of that stuff, yes, you will see... An entranceway in blue. Remember, make sure to talk to Cynthia's mother or grandmother, I should say. Grab the grab the both orbs plus the stone, and you will be able to find these two Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and uh, well, see what we got right here. On the other side of the rift, it in fantastically bizarre place. It's Dialga. Will you challenge Dialga? Yes, I will. Now. The messed up part about this is that both these legendary Pokemon are at level 70. This is the reason why this game is the definitive game to Pokemon Platinum, to everything, because good gravy. When you get these Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl, they're just at a meager level. But right here, they, they'll mess you up, and Dialga, as you guys can see, it, it, it has heal blocks, so it won't, me like, it won't let me heal, and here comes its specialized attack. Roar of Time. So, what's gonna happen is, yes, we're gonna try and, well, we're, we're not even gonna try. We're just gonna capture this Pokemon with an Ultra Ball because, well, <clears throat> yes, we're here to be finished with this whole game right here. So, there's one, there's two, and there's three. Throwing out the peace sign, yes. We have captured Dialga. Now, as, as a regular capture, this Pokemon was hard, literally hard to try and capture. Probably harder than the other two. So what's gonna happen now, guys, is I'm gonna fast forward and we're gonna go straight into Palkia. So we'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back and all we need to do is in and out and right here, you're gonna be finding a pink entranceway or maybe purple, whatever you like to call it. On the other side of the rift is a fantastically bizarre place. It's Palkia. Will you challenge Palkia? Yes. Let's go right ahead and challenge this Pokemon. And just like Dialga, Palkia is also at level 70. And this Pokemon looks like a machine. A straight up friggin' machine. And yeah. Good luck trying to defeat it, okay? Because, well, if you surf, not a lot of stuff's gonna happen. Because I think this Pokemon is also a water type Pokemon. And here comes its Earth Power, and it I think it does have its own specialized attack. Now, I believe that this is the generation where, yeah, specialized attacks start happening and all that crud. So, yeah, let's go right ahead and capture this Pokemon right here. 
You know, when I first saw this Pokemon alongside Dialga, I, I, I seriously thought they were going to be like robot Pokemon, but I guess I was wrong. They just look like robots. So there it is, guys. We captured ourselves Palkia, the Pokemon of time and space and all that crud. I always get these guys mixed up. So what's going to happen next, guys, is we're going to finalize this whole capturing of every single legendary Pokemon by doing the Arceus event. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys, and this is the final event that we're going to be doing for this walkthrough, and that is the Arceus event. Now, a little bit of context. Um, the Arceus event was never, ever distributed. It was kind of a shame because this Pokemon right here... Uh, it, it could have made a huge difference if it was distributed and, you know, having all these Pokemon trainers do it, all that stuff. Uh, never got to see the light of day except for, you know, action replay codes. That's the only re that's the only way you can get it. Um, later on, and I would say, like, maybe years later, you would get Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Adventures game of Arceus and then, you know, Shining Pearl and uh, Brilliant Diamond, that kind of stuff. Um, that's when you can actually get this Pokemon. But right here, we're going to be doing the action replay. All you need to do now is put in the code, press L and R, and what you need to do is you need to go straight to the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemart, and there's going to be a man in green waiting for you. And this guy's like, good evening, you must be Draven, and here is the Azure Flute. This, this item right here is the item needed in order to, you know, wake up Arceus. So, I'm gonna fast forward one last time, and, uh, well not one last time, but I'm gonna fast forward all the way back to Spear Pillar, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back in Spear Pillar, and what is going to happen once you step outside is we're at Spear Pillar. You take a step, and next thing you know it, the Azure Flu is gonna start making a sound. We're going to blow, blow into it, and bam. And, well... Everything changes guys. So a glowing stairway has appeared This right here is the entrance way to Arceus Everybody knows that Arceus is considered the god Pokemon It's not really a god, but it's considered god in the Pokemon universe the creator of everything and Well when you go up to these stairways look at that you you're going into the stairway to heaven right here and once you step onto the platform, you're going to be meeting Arceus himself. And uh, this Pokemon right here is, uh, yeah. You're automatically in this. And take a look at this Pokemon's level. Buckets. Level 80. So this Pokemon right here is the most powerful wild Pokemon, po most powerful legendary Pokemon. And if you guys remember in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, we we did do an event with Arceus. The song itself, you could hear, it was the same part as the Arceus event where we got Giratina and all that stuff at level 1. As you guys can see, Arceus is just a normal type Pokemon, but every single plate that you've collected manages to change this Pokemon's typing. I believe it has like 17 types. So what is going to happen is yeah i already know I, I got the cheat going for easy captures but i'm gonna go with the master ball just because if there was a pokemon that you needed to capture with the master ball it is it has to be this guy right here so let's go ahead throw this master ball as a symbolic gesture so there's one and there's two and there is three arceus has been captured yes sir Alrighty. so we're going to skip forward back to the Pokemon Center, and we're going to take a look at all these Pokemon that we've captured. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back into the PC, and we're going to take a look at all four of these Pokemon that we've captured throughout the whole, uh, you know, adventure. We got the Devil, we got God, and we got the two controllers of space and time right here. 
Since we already looked at Giratina, let's go ahead and look at Dialga first. As you guys can see, Dialga is a Steel and Dragon type Pokemon. And, well, it's special attack, it's, it's gonna kick your butt. It's pressure, it's gonna take away your PPs. And it's specialized attack is the Roar of Time, where it has Heal Block, Earth Power, and Slash. Now, here we have Palkia, the Water and Dragon type Pokemon. This Pokemon right here is also a special attacker, but it's very good at special defense as well. And its specialized attack is the uh, Special Rend. Here you have Heal Block, Earth Power, and Slash. Now, the final Pokemon to this whole situation is Arceus. Arceus is just a normal type Pokemon, and it does have the ability Multi-Type, which changes the type of its m that matches the held plate. Right here, it has Refresh, Future Sight, Recover, and I would like to think that Hyper Beam is its uh, specialized attack right here. So, I want to do something right here, guys. Let's go right ahead and switch out this Pokemon. And let's see what these typings do, okay? So over the course of this adventure, we've been kept like we've been getting ourselves different different kinds of plates, like the dark or the dread plate, the spooky plate, the mind plate, and so on and so forth. So what's gonna happen right here is I'm just gonna I'm gonna give this to Arceus right here. And now that you have equipped it with uh, a dread plate, take a look at its typing. It is a Dark-type Pokemon, and it's changed its appearance. Look at that. So, the other thing too, it changed its stats just a tad bit. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at... I want to use the, the Spooky Plate. Switch it out. And, yes. So now we got the spooky play onto this uh, this Pokemon right here, and we're looking at this guy, and it's changed its appearance yet again. It is now a ghost type Pokemon, and well, its stats stay the, the same, so never mind. So that's exactly what you can do with this Arceus if you guys wanted to use them for like different kinds of battles and all that stuff. Now back to normal type. So anywho, guys. This has been a long adventure, and I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed it. Yes, I know, there's quite a few things that I may or may not have uh, not featured on this, but I kind of want to finish this right here with the, with the legendary Pokemon. So, in the next episode, guys, it is going to be our final episode of Pokemon Platinum, and that is, we're going to be going to the Pokemon League for the second time, and we're going to go up against the Pokemon League itself. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive and patient. As always, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. See you guys.